Weirdest Discoveries Made in the Jungle Hey everyone, it's Alexa again and welcome back to another video. People have been making discoveries in the jungle for as long as we can remember, and yet there are still so many secrets to uncover. Let's have a look at what incredibly weird things people have discovered amongst tangled vegetation and tree canopies. But before we get into today's video, you know the drill. Make sure that you're subscribed and ring the bell so that you never miss any of our upcoming videos. The Sentinelese People Discovered in the heart of the jungle of North Sentinel Island in the Indian Ocean is the Sentinelese tribe, and they've been living in the same spot for 60,000 years. They want nothing to do with the Western world, and they've been known to take the lives of anyone who manages to get on their island. The island is off the main shipping routes, also making access challenging. They speak a language that nobody understands and use arrows and spears to keep unwelcome guests out. It's believed there are roughly 150 people in the tribe. It was initially thought that the 2004 tsunami wiped out the tribe, but they survived the onslaught and are still there. Reflesia arnaldi. Not the kind of flower you'd like to receive from a loved one, because this flower literally stinks. Its nickname is the corpse flower, and they were discovered in the jungles of Indonesia, Malaysia, Borneo, Sumatra, Thailand, and the Philippines. There are 17 species of this giant flower that reach 3.3 feet in diameter and can weigh up to 24 pounds. The flower reeks of rotten flesh when in full bloom, and the stench attracts the carrion fly, which proceeds to pollinate this beauty. The flies are deceived by the smell, enter the flower in the hope of meat, and come out covered in pollen. The plant is a parasite and has no leaves, stems, or roots. The flower takes 10 months to bloom from bulb to flower, and it's only this size for a few days. They're very difficult to grow in captivity, as Singapore's botanic garden has been trying for years with no luck. Sigiriya, Sri Lanka. It was 1831, and Major Jonathan Forbes was riding on horseback when he came upon the bush-covered summit of Sigiriya. The jungles had kept this area hidden for centuries, and it was originally built during the 5th century by King Kashyapa. Exploration of the area only began in earnest in the 1890s, and archaeologists discovered stairs carved into the stone, gorgeous frescoes, and the remains of the once thriving palace. Interesting side note, inside was a wall that was polished to such an extent that the king could see his reflection in it. Sadly, that wall is now covered in graffiti, some dating back to the 8th century. Zombie Ants the jungle is home to its very own species of zombies, and they get that way thanks to a specific type of fungus. The spores of the fungus float through the air and land on the jungle floor, and ants pick them up inadvertently. They make their way into the ant's body and grow inside them. The spores take over the ant's body and control the ant's actions, making the ant an extension of the fungus. The ant dies in the optimal spot where the fungus likes to grow, and the whole process begins again. Large Stone Spheres the Costa Rican jungle brought forward a rather strange discovery during the 1930s, around 300 polished stone orbs. The spheres range in size as anything from a few inches or centimeters up to 2.4 meters or 8 feet in diameter. Most of them are almost perfectly round, and scientists and archaeologists are still baffled as to how prehistoric humans managed to achieve this near impossible feat. Some believe they were built for religious purposes, while others blame the aliens. However, how the stones were moved through the jungle, up hills, and into the thick vegetation is still a mystery. Largest carbon sink in the world For a few years, scientists have been researching and mapping the Congo Basin, particularly the soil and what lies beneath its surface. They have discovered that hidden there is one of the largest carbon sinks in the world, about the size of England. This area of swampland makes up a mere 4% of the Congo Basin and has as much carbon in the area as stored above ground. It works out to around 30 billion tons of carbon, or 20 years worth of fossil fuel emissions for the U.S. Hiro Onoda The Second World War ended in 1945, and people started picking up the pieces, all except for Hiro Onoda, a Japanese army officer who was hiding in the Philippine jungle and had no idea the war had ended. Search parties were sent into the area, and he assumed they were enemy scouts and remained tucked away. In 1974, the Japanese government sent a delegation to meet with him, and his brother and former commander were there too. Only then did he come out of the jungle. He became a hero on his return to Japan. 
walking palms. The Amazon jungle is brimming with thousands of different plant species, and it's crowded and dark in there. These walking palms have developed an interesting way of keeping themselves alive as they battle for space. The trunks of these trees rise above the earth, and if a larger plant steals their sunlight, they simply walk to a better spot. You can't physically see it, as the process is a very slow one. LiveScience.com has brought forward research to prove that the story is nothing but a fable made up to intrigue the visitors to the jungle. Others claim that although the tree isn't walking, the roots grow in search of a sunnier spot. Best to leave the mythical status of the walking palms just as it is. Nothing's wrong with a little magic in our lives, right? The Lost City of El Mirador This archaeological wonder was discovered in Guatemala in 1926 and had its first aerial photograph in 1930. It was then forgotten about until 1962, when Ian Graham made the first map of the area. The site dates back to before 600 BC and in its heyday was home for up to 250,000 people. Getting to this awesome jungle site is a challenge as there are no roads leading there. It's believed that if something drastic isn't done soon, this jungle masterpiece could succumb to logging and looting. Sundong Cave Ho Khan spent a great deal of his life wandering the jungles of a Vietnamese national park looking for food and timber. It was on a hunting mission in 1990 that he came upon an opening in a limestone cliff and he went to investigate. When inside, he heard a river and could feel the wind blowing from the cave. He went home with the intent to go back to the cave, but he couldn't find it. Howard and Deb Limbert were in the area around the same time exploring caves and happened to chat with Ho Khan. He told them about the cave and they too were unsuccessful. Fast forward to 2008, and Hokan finally finds the cave again. He led Howard and Deb back there in 2009, and the cave was called Sundong Cave, or Mountain River Cave. Goliath Bird Eaters If you're afraid of spiders, put your hands in front of your eyes right now. This is the Goliath Bird Eater, and it is the heaviest tarantula in the world. It can reach five inches in length and can weigh up to six ounces. This monster spider was discovered around the marshes and swamps of the Amazon River, and it burrows underground and only comes out at night to grab its prey. Amazingly, they are not dangerous to humans. They do shed their hairs, which can cause a bit of irritation, but that's about it. Meteorite Sri Lanka A meteorite fell in the Sri Lankan jungle, and the scientists in the United Kingdom who have been studying the rock believe it's something out of this world. Two separate studies have confirmed that the meteorite contains fossils and algae that could suggest that life exists somewhere else in space. The disbelievers believe that the algae and fossils were just picked up on Earth, but the former option sounds way more exciting. Flesh-Eating Parasite In 2011, a team of explorers discovered the lost city of the monkey god in the Honduran jungle. Douglas Preston was among the team, and he had released a book about the journey, which is definitely worth the read. The site that the team found is believed to be this lost city, but that's not all the team found. They also found that they had contracted a flesh-eating disease and needed to leave in a hurry to save themselves. The parasite enters your mucous membranes and eats your face away. They also encountered venomous snakes and had to leave again in a hurry, leaving behind many secrets still needing to be uncovered. Jesus Lizard The jungle is home to many incredibly unique animals, including the Jesus Lizard, scientifically known as Basiliscus basiliscus. This insane lizard has a special webbing on its feet, so when it's running away from predators, it spreads the webbing open and can literally run on water for up to 65 feet. They are found in the jungles of Central and Northwestern South America. Kukaina. Mushrooms and fungi are also common in the jungles and rainforests, and in the heart of the Amazon rainforest, you find a weird mushroom called the Kukaina. There are many different species of this intriguing-looking mushroom, and the Tamuans of peninsular Malaysia eat some of the varieties and use some for bait. Go find some treasure. If you consider yourself a bit of a treasure hunter, head to the Amazonian jungle and start searching for the treasures supposedly buried by the people of the last Incan emperor. A team have already uncovered a structure made up of hundreds of two-ton stone blocks. They believe they're already on their way to finding the treasure. The last Incan emperor was captured and his people offered a room full of gold for his safe release. The offer of gold was refused and instead the emperor was executed. It's believed he was buried with the treasure so now, it's up to you to find it. Potu. A master of disguise is the potu, and this bird is found in the Amazon rainforest. These nocturnal creatures are so still during the day that they look like they're part of the branch they're perched on. The branch that they're on is also home to the one single egg that they lay, which is incubated by both the male and female. You'd really have to look hard to find one of these weird birds. 
humpback whale. The words jungle and humpback whale don't go together at all, and yet that's exactly what was discovered in a mangrove swamp near the mouth of the Amazon River. The whale was 36 feet long, and it took workers two attempts to reach it. They realized something big was there by the birds that were circling above it. It's believed the calf was separated from her mom, and stormy weather and high tides launched her ashore. The whale will be left to decompose, and the skeleton donated to a local natural history museum. Which of these jungle discoveries do you find the most bizarre? Let us know in the comments below. Las Posas. Not many people know about this hidden treasure in the northeast state of San Luis Potosi. The sculpture park was left behind by British poet Edward James, and it was created between 1940 and 1984. He spent millions creating the artistic monuments, spiraling staircases and structures. He called it his surrealist Xanadu, and there are nine natural pools of water flowing through the eccentric structure. This jungle discovery should be number one on your bucket list.